Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Blah Blah Blah. And as the title says, buyer beware. Now I gotta say, a few weeks ago I went on to a, a website here in Australia called D Shop. If you're Aussie, maybe you heard of them. I never did before. I was looking for a computer tab. I wanted to get rid of this one. I wanted something a bit longer. And I started looking on there. I came across something that I really did like in that photo. If only, you know, I looked at the reviews on there. It was really good. If only I would have known to, to, to look on other websites that did reviews, I wouldn't have got this thing. So look, I ordered this thing. It came in the mail. We were out probably until about 5.30 in the afternoon when it did arrive to us. There was no paperwork. This, 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 this box was just left uh, sitting up against the uh, wall at the front door and the box was in really bad condition. Uh, water damage, there was also, the thing wasn't even sealed. This thing was not sealed at all and really dirty up top. And I'm like, oh my God, where, what's, what the hell is this? Especially, you know, especially getting no paperwork. Who, who dumps a table there to be stolen? That's another thing. It was just left there. There was nothing. I was so so pissed off with the courier, and the courier's actually got really bad reviews as well. So there must be, there might be even the same company that's that's running it, uh, D Shop. So I get it, take it inside, start unpacking this thing, and on one side of the table. It's, there's, there's damage and it's it's very noticeable even though it's, it's it's tiny it's still noticeable and the way this thing looks if I sneeze it would probably break on me to be honest with you it, it's 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 just it's it's crap and I think that's what this shop does it sells a lot of crap stuff and I really wish I would have went on to websites to see reviews of this because when I did do that the re the reviews were really bad they've been reported to the ACCC here in Australia um, the consumer watchdog. I actually did a report as well because <laughs> when I tried to complain and I, about the uh, the way the box came to me, the um, damage on it, didn't get anything back from them. So there goes the warning alarms off. I actually um, contacted uh, PayPal. They're at the process now where they're escalating things. Um, I did actually hear from them. And they're saying to me to assemble the table because they can't tell where the damage is. I sent off the photos of the damage. I sent off the photos of where it was left and the state it was in. And they want me to assemble this thing so they can see the whole table and the damages, which actually will void the uh, their policy for returns. So I can see what they're trying to do there. So I'm going through all that sort of process. So lesson learned for me... <laughs> Don't buy online. Don't buy these, you know, tables and stuff online. Um, we look, we're looking at furniture at one stage as well from them, and thank God we never got that. So yeah, don't do that. It's just crazy. I need to see the tables in store, not on this online stuff where they can Photoshop the uh, the way things look. And this table was, I couldn't slide this chair into the table. You would have to have a smaller. Uh, chair to be able to, to fit under the table. It, it just was ridiculous. It was it's so tiny Unbelievable. Um, so yeah, not happy with that. Now I went on to um, eBay I, I stumbled across something uh, Again, I, I talked about this in the past about some crazy prices for retro games and Guess what I came across something really really crazy. It's pretty much like um the Mega Man series, uh, it's got, what has it got? It's got everything from the Sega Saturn to the Game Boy to NES, to Super Nintendo, all this sort of stuff. Um, I don't know how many games there are. There's 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 quite a quite a nice little collection there, PlayStation stuff as well, and um, they're all being sealed and graded. I guess <laughs> I couldn't believe the price because yeah, like. I'm going to pay this good of money for it. Now, the US price is just under $300,000, which is $418,000 here in Australia. Getting close to a half a million dollars here in Australia for for maybe about, what, 18 uh, games, 18 Mega Drive games. Where is the logic in this? Why do they do this sort of stuff? Put all this stuff on to, to is, is it a joke? 
it's not because I can see the seller has been around for a while and does sell stuff but that one was a joke another one I saw that sparked my interest was this um, Sega Master System the uh, Mark II, Mark III um, main unit which is a Japanese unit it's also got a typewriter there uh, and the um, the Sega Master System 2 which is the, the Sega Master System Mark I I think it is the uh, the one that was originally released here in the, in the West so there's a whole heap of Japanese games there including Alec Kid, um, I think Fantasy Zone a lot of the other stuff I don't know but again the price of this thing is $2,520 this just goes to show where we're at with the um, retro gaming scene it's just, it's always been high but this is taking it to the extremes and um, I also saw something like for maybe about uh, what was it it was in Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, there's like three six nine ten about twelve fourteen games there um, two hundred and forty nine thousand dollars US three hundred and forty six thousand dollars Australian yeah put me down for one of those please it's, there, there's a million dollars worth of <laughs> um, games there which who in their right mind would pay for um, something like that but it just goes to show this retro market at the moment and just with the prices of what people think they can get for them and um, there's no way and here's another example here this is that 1990 Nintendo World Championship gold cartridge really grading is it's just a gold cartridge grading is, is 5.0 5 uh, 1 million US dollars <laughs> what, what, what can I say about that? 1 million US dollars, uh, 1.3, say 3, 4 million Australian dollars for a piece of plastic and some um, circuits inside of it. I just that, that just came up. I don't, I don't know where. I've, that just came up on the, when I was looking at this sort of stuff. It's crazy. No way is you know is that worth anything is it, is it worth that much no it's just it just does my head in seeing you know this sort of stuff and thinking that people can get away with buying you know selling it who has a million dollars to fork out for a um nintendo yeah it's crazy nintendo gold cart this is crazy but it's just the way the way this market is and i don't know it's just it's sort of locked me out of getting a lot of games I've, I've been looking for stuff for the japanese mega drive if i would have got it years ago it would have been a lot cheaper but now i want to get stuff like a uh, mystic defender um alien storm i think there was uh fantasy star actually got released on the, the Me mega drive in japan uh it's pretty much a straight port and that was something i wanted to get for the collection but that thing now is just way too expensive and also i think it was wonder boy 5 where it's a wonder girl character i was so interested in getting that years ago um but the prices of that are crazy now sure i could get the uh reproduction cards i've seen them on xc um they do that sort of stuff it's an option um if you especially don't want to pay that kind of money for for an old game and that would probably be a more viable op option i see uh, Sega Saturn games on there as well which is like okay that's interesting uh, it is a viable source of, of, of getting sort of stuff like that but yeah just seeing prices like that just is like uh, why do people do this it's just crazy it does not make sense to me so yeah that's all I've got to, got to say for this week on on that but yeah the crazy prices half a million dollars for a collection of, of games million dollars for one game yeah <laughs> it's crazy it, it does my head in until next time guys bye